What's up guys, my name is Alan, I'm a Wix developer, and in today's video, I'm gonna teach you guys how to build an absolutely gorgeous header for your Wix.com website. That's right, a header is super important for your website. It allows users to navigate through page to page, and in today's video, I'm gonna teach you, using your Wix.com editor, how to create a header for the very first time. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm actually gonna go ahead and delete the current header that this website has, and I'm gonna go ahead and start with a completely blank canvas, and at the end of this video, if you do follow along, you'll definitely be able to create a totally responsive header for your website. Now, to get started with building a header for your Wix website, you obviously need to be inside your Wix editor. Uh, so if you haven't already, select your website. Once you've selected it, go ahead and click on Edit Site, and you'll be introduced to your Wix editor. From here, we know that this is the header at the very, very top. You can go ahead and stretch it down to have a large header. You can make it really, really slim to have a slim header. But in today's example, I'm gonna go ahead and give a little bit of space to this header so that we have some room to work with. Now, to create a responsive header, we need to do the following. On the left-hand side, let's go ahead and click on the Add button. From here, let's go ahead and click on Strip. And then from here, let's go ahead and grab this white strip right above here and drag it right into our header. You'll notice that a purple, I mean, sorry, a orange indicator will say attached to header. So let's go ahead and add it to header. Voila, we have this little strip here inside the header, and then we have this header as um, in its entirety. So we have a strip, which we basically placed within this header. Here is the strip. And what we now need to do is go ahead and make sure that the elements that we add within this strip are gonna be responsive from left to right. Basically, when users scroll their, uh, their devices and make their browser size smaller, you'll notice that the header actually goes ahead and falls in line with their uh, scaling. So how do we get started here? Number one, let's go ahead and select on this strip, click on Change Header, click on the Color option, and go ahead and select this as white. From here, what we want to do is go ahead and select this option called Layout. From the Layout option, we want to go ahead and add a column to this header. Now that we've added a column to this header, we have the right column and we have the left column. From here, we want to go ahead and simply click on the layout options one more time. And the strip layout options will appear. This time, we'll have some divisions available. So in this case, let's go ahead and select down here where it says customize proportions and move this down to about 20 and the right hand side to about 80. So we have about 80% room here and about 20% room here. Now, what we're gonna do from here is we're gonna select the right-hand column and we're gonna go ahead and select layout one more time. This time, we're gonna go ahead and say pin to the right position. Now that we have this pin to the right position, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and enable my grid lines here and you're gonna notice that anything that is beyond this little line is gonna be completely responsive and behind the line is also gonna be responsive. So let's go ahead and for example, click on the add button. Let us go ahead and click on menu and anchor and let's go ahead and add a menu um, to this project. And this time, instead of adding it just to our header, let's go ahead and add it to the column itself. In this case, the right hand column. And let's go ahead and place it right here on the right hand side and what we're gonna now do is just hit the preview button on the top right hand corner to quickly realize that when we now go ahead and move our web, pack, our web browser um, lower and lower, that the header actually comes down with us. So this is a really great fundamental uh, and it's gonna be super important for us to get this uh, working properly. Now, what we're also gonna do here is we're gonna go ahead and add one more element by clicking on the add button. We're gonna go ahead and add strip and we're gonna go ahead and add this black strip right inside the header one more time. So we have this black strip, which is right here. We have the other strip, right, which is white, which is down here. And then we have the header, which was pushed all the way down. In this case, let's go ahead and grab the actual header and let's go ahead and burn it up right about here. Just so we can start really seeing how our header is gonna look like. In this case, the top header right here, we're just gonna slim this down a little bit, a little bit more. I use this section at the top as a way to promote maybe new hiring, a new page, a new product, a new service, whatever it might be. Think of this as your bulletin board. And this, consider this your actual menu. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my menu on the top right hand corner and I'm gonna go ahead and bring it closer to the top right here. And I'm gonna take the strip and kind of tighten it up right about here. From here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and bring the header all the way until it's touching to the area that I want. So if I go preview 
you're noticing that the menu and the header is looking really, really good so far. It's consistent and it's very conventional to what you would see on the internet nowadays. Now remember, if at any point you'd like me to personally work and create a custom header for you, definitely consider reaching out to me. I am available for hire under Alan Bajo via the Wix.com marketplace. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and share with you guys an example of a unique header. Um, and you can see just with a little bit of effort, just how beautiful a header could turn into. So let's go ahead and get back into our editor here and work on the top section here. If we click on the top strip right here, there's an option here that says um, change background. In this case, I'm gonna go ahead and click on change background. And I think that the dark um, kind of gray is a little bit too much. I'm gonna go ahead and change it to a different color. And let's just say, for example, I don't know, let's say we go into this kind of blue color. From here, we can go ahead and make it a little bit smaller. And if we click on the add button, click on text, we can grab any of these text pieces and simply throw it on to the blue section here. Now we can go ahead and make it completely wide, go ahead and double click the text, make the text centered, grab this text, move it into the dead center. Now remember, when moving items within these little strips, you'll notice that there is purple indicators. In this case, this purple indicator says that it's the dead center right there in the middle. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave it right here. I'm gonna double click this text and I'm gonna go ahead and make the text white. And I'm gonna say, now I'm currently, hiring. Click here to view positions. I'm going to go ahead and basically hover over, click here, click on underline, and simply link it to a specific page called hiring. So in this case, I'll just go ahead and put it to any page actually temporarily. And what I can also do is grab the strip at the very top, which is my bulletin, and I'm going to bring it down just a bit more to give a little bit more space, and I'm going to center this content. From here, you'll notice that we still have the left-hand side to work on. So what I recommend is that you use a logo. So basically click here, click on image, and go ahead and grab your logo and place the logo at the top left-hand corner right here. Now, it's very simple because when you grab any specific element, so in this case, I'm gonna go ahead and grab, let's pretend that this was the logo. We're gonna go ahead and slim it down and just make sure that you add the logo right in the column on the left-hand side. Now, if you want to go ahead and create a better experience, you can go ahead and add things such as buttons. So for example, you can click on the add button, you can click on button, and you can go ahead and grab any of the buttons and either move it into the section up there or even move it into the section right here on the right. What you would have to do is you would have to grab your menu and just move your menu a little bit closer, grab the button and move the button to the right hand side. Then bring your menu all the way back here and simply rename the button. We can call this call to action. And then we can go ahead and link it to a specific product page, location, etc. You can also go ahead and grab the specific menu bar itself and you can shrink it down to be a little bit more. Now I had created a video called how to create a stunning mega menu. You may want to watch that just so you can go ahead and learn how to really create a beautiful menu. Again, if you put a little bit of effort into creating a menu, menus are generally either in the center on the right hand side, on the left hand side. Um, but in regards to creating a menu, it's definitely about how unique you are as a designer, uh, but you also have interesting options, such as when you click on the menu background itself, you can go ahead and click on scroll settings and you can go ahead and freeze the menu. So freezing the menu is interesting because when you click on preview, the menu actually comes down with the user. So there are a ton of options you can work with when it comes to your menu, specifically in regards to the header. So your header can be broken into section one, subsection, and you can go ahead and design this any way you like. So in this case, if I wanted this to have also two sections, I would go ahead and click on layout and simply add a column. Now, we don't have to stop there. If you click on manage column again, you can have a three column. You can also have a four column. So creating a menu is very, very interesting. I recommend you definitely check out some of my work on medium.com uh, and also definitely discover my personal wix.com profile where I share a ton of menus with you guys uh, and headers also. 
Um, but I hope this video was helpful. We went into the Wix editor, we worked with the top portion, and we just simply created a column from left to right to create a really intuitive and easy to use menu for your users who are wanting to navigate through your website. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this. My name is Alan, I'm a Wix developer and designer. And if this video was helpful, definitely leave a comment. Looking forward to hearing from you guys. Bye guys.